So, Jim, if you would. <laughs> the total of uh, 364,199. Yep, okay, I move the 364,199 for financial second. administration. Mike second it. All right, we'll lead into the questions. Okay. Uh, the first question was in regards to the regular wages. They looked high, and the answer I have for that is that um, we have a contract with Mike Schultzer until the end of, end of April of 2015. Um, he was <coughs> the finance director for almost the whole first half of the year, so he is available to me, to the town, um, through, and we have the audit in end of January, beginning of February, so he'll be available for all of those things. So I believe that is the reason why um, the money was left on that line item for next year. How long was he going to be here again? So what he is has it? a contract through April 30th of 15, I believe. Ooh. I mean, it's no set time that he will be here, but if he's needed or especially during the audit, um, prep for the oh. audit and then also during the audit when they're here for that whole week or two weeks, depending on if there's a second audit. Is there a set amount of hours in that contract at a certain rate per hour? There is a rate per hour. I don't know if there's a, I would have to go back and review um, the contract area. I don't know if there was a set um, number of hours in the contract. There is a rate though in the contract. The next question was, are there other raises in here for the payroll supervisor and the two accounting clerks? Uh, the only raises that are in there, the three positions in that department are all Teamsters. And so under their contract, um, there's a 1.25% increase on April 1st of 2015, and that's just a standard raise that I think is in all of the union contracts, but definitely across the board for the Teamsters. Clint. So so in that top line is the, a CBA commitment? Yes. Uh, yeah. Because they're in the Teamsters. Yes, and, that, that and, they are, and they all three of those positions are full-time, so that would also be in that uh, regular wage line, yes. Christy, well, we're on that note, and I don't mean to interrupt this discussion. Could you send us um, any uh, the amounts of any teams to contracts raise increases for 2015 for all teamsters or for disease positions? I can send you the whole pay scale if you'd like. It's in the, it's probably online in there. Um, I believe all the union contracts are on the town website, and at the end of the contract is a wage schedule. It should be the wage schedule for all. I think that was a two-year contract, so you'll have the uh, April 1st of 14 and the April 1st of 15. Um, okay, so we will find that on the... Yeah. I mean, I can send it to you also if you like. I can make a copy of it. Well, the con you're talking about the contract itself, which has fixed percentage increases, I assume. Yes. But I think what we're asking for yeah, is all I want is actual a dollar amounts. Okay, for each of those positions? Yeah, no, within, not for, within no the I don't want a dollar amount. All I want is a percentage um, of scheduled increase. Okay for each of the unions in the 2015 contract. So you're talking about all the unions across the board, not just oh. my Teamster positions right here? Right. Okay. Thank you. Well, adding the dollar amounts would kind of help a little yeah. bit, too. Well, still it's percentage. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's still percentage. <coughs> it's copy it. And it's easy. And now the dollar amount doesn't make much difference, because then you'd have to go backwards to figure out the percentage. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, Jerry. Well, I was just uh, going back to Mike's. So I'd like to know eventually the rate. He's being paid, and the total of hours you've estimated okay. in that. Uh, the only thing I'd point. caution is that's a uh, that's a signed contract, so we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Oh, I, I just want to know. Okay. Okay, and then the next question was in regards. I think these are still in the finance section. In regards to replacement equipment, it's saying zero dollars is spent in the last four years. Why is there a thousand dollars in the budget? Um, my first response was that it's safe to assume that after four years, some of the equipment in the office is probably has a higher risk of breaking down. But then when I looked deeper into the question, I noticed that things such as um, keyboards, adding machines, fax machines, what I would consider equipment for my particular department, have been being, being paid out of the supplies and expense line um, item in this budget. So my thoughts were that they actually should be, 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 I would consider that replacement equipment for my department. Why it wasn't being paid out of there, I don't know. Um, but going forward, I will possibly make a journal entry this year, because I know that we've gotten at least one new adding machine. We've got some new keyboards and stuff. But 
to me it makes sense to have that thousand dollars there. Just stood out zero zero zero. Yeah, zero, zero. and I didn't look back. I trusted that you were right that it was zero for the last four years. And when I started looking, thinking, what is equipment for my actual department and the things I was coming up with, which I think are legitimate equipment for uh, you, a finance department, are having be coming out of the supply and expense line. Uh, you skipped the question. Uh, I did, Christine. Yeah, the oh. comment above that. Question. Oh, the comment. Yeah. Why is not the cost of contracted service, contracted services? that pertain to zoning and planning records. Why, why is not that placed in the planning office budget, if you will? I believe it's because there's a part-time position um, that was hired, I didn't look, I think it was back in 2011. Um, she was hired to do the, um, to perform the permanent pres preservation of uh, records. And that, she started out with the assessing department and now she is working her way around. And I am assuming that that line item there is being used for that, for if there's any cost involved <clears throat> with. It, um, yeah, it, the description says microfilming of digitized zoning and planning records. That's the description. Yeah, I have learned my lesson this year that I should update some of these descriptions. I went with what Mike had had there, and um, <laughs> it's kind of coming back <laughs> to bite me some of them a little bit. But I think that um, I know that this individual was hired and that she has been doing those types of things um, <coughs> different departmental records. So I would think that in there, a better description for you would be monitor, um, microfilming of digitalized, digitized town records would be a better description for that line item because she is being used by um, other departments. I know she's done a lot in the building department. I believe she's completed all of the assessing or a large percentage of the assessing and then moved on to building. I know she has um, helped Lori in planning also. So I think that a better description for that line item okay. in the future budgets. Let's see, procurement and advertisement. Advertising looks like a thousand higher than it should be based on 14 annualized actuals, uh, 1,947 in the last four four-year actuals average of 2,816. So a nice, um, one of those line items that you cannot actually predict how often it will be used. At the end of 2013, the actual was 3,406, which is right in line with the 4,000 that's budgeted. So that was my take on that one. Um, postage looks 5,000 too high when one looks at the last four years average of 30,000 633 and the 2014 annualized rate of 31,696. Uh, this line item has been running ahead of budget since I took over in the middle of May. And if you annualize out the 14, you get 37,696, which is higher than what, it, what is budgeted in, um, for in 2015. So I'm actually getting a higher number than what's budgeted for that line when I annualize out 14. Uh. Let's see, actual is uh, in postage is 20. Well, I only got some through September, so yeah. I don't, what have you got? I some? annualized out what I. Um, Divided by 9 equals times 12. Mm. I annualized it out to be at 37,696 when I did well, the numbers upstairs. Yeah, I, I, through September, if you analyze it, it would be 31,695. I probably grabbed October when I was up there. Um, and then the last one under this particular, under financial administration, I think that was it, right, for that? Mm -hmm. Two comments. Yeah. There was just comments. Yeah, no more questions on that. So I guess the, that the, covers the questions the, that I had for financial. Yeah, the comment, one of the comments that I had was, like, many of these accounts, not only in your particular yeah. area but across the board, have such thin backup information it's almost worth not having. And... Uh, in the business world, I just would not accept it. Mm -hmm. My other comment is, with respect, the default is only 500 bucks less. It's hardly worth talking about. Okay. I'm going to start around the table on this one with Richard on this side this time. Uh, I just was looking at it. The uh, bank service charge is $35,000. And then when I look at revenue, I guess we're in the hole, right? It costs us more money to administer it than what we received. I'm, I'm looking at revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. The nice. bank service charges, I did an analysis, and I don't know if I brought it down here tonight or not. Uh, 
Yeah, and I can actually send this to you guys also. I did an analysis on the bank service charges, and I went back to 2007. And I compared, and I will send this to everyone, um, the bank service charges to the interest earned. And back in 2007, just as an example, uh, the bank service charges were 97000 I'm just rounding. Right. And the interest back in 2007 was $226,000. So up until, and that was the case where it was right in line until about 2010, okay? Um, they weren't always as high as that, those first examples. In 2010, it was... Uh, Actually, 2009 was the last year. It was 36000 for bank service charges and $37,000 for interest. 37000 sorry, for interest. Um, so the bank service charges, and you'll see when I send this to you, they haven't really changed. They have been, uh, if anything, they've decreased because in 2007 they were $97,000. Um, the town treasurer has gone out to TD Bank after the Board of Selectmen asked her. She went to TD Bank and Provident Bank. Um, Provident Bank for... Reasons in regards to payroll and into the um, requirements. I don't think I brought that sheet, but there are certain requirements that a bank has to um, insure treasurers, mm -hmm. town treasurers, and they didn't have that at Providence, so they couldn't give us a quote. And the um, quote from TD Bank came right in line with um, what we are being charged at Citizens. Um, and it was all run through that interest income like you were just pointing out in revenue. And in 2013 is when Mike um, brought in the bank service line item and started to account for it in the way that I believe is the proper way that it should be accounted for. You can't have a negative for um, interest. It shouldn't be running through the interest income line. So, but they And I will send this to each of you, and like I said, it'll show you that there has not been a gigantic increase in bank service charges. It's just the way it was recorded or being accounted for and the fact that the interest has dropped so much since 2007. In 2013, the interest was $1,875.29 compared to the 226000 back in 2007. So. That's all. Thank you. No questions. Thank you. Jim? Uh, yeah, I, most most of my uh, questions are regarding. I, I know that you're. Uh, <clears throat> this is your first what been on the job about six months now. Almost, yeah, I think. And uh, I know. So you, I know you're just getting your feet wet, so to speak, getting yourself stood up, and you got Mike there as a consultant to to back you up, the former finance director. What is his uh, hourly rate? You know. Well, I don't know. If yes. I had to look it up. I don't. Okay. I, there's a contract, and I know that it has a set hourly rate. I wasn't sure if there's a set number of hours, but I will have to look into that. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm glad to hear that there's a there's a there's an endpoint there, and yeah. and uh, you know most of my questions are really related to uh, bringing a bit more visibility, and which basically means a little more improvement in your department, which is something I think I'd like to talk with you and outside of the meeting after we get through this cycle when you're less busy. Uh, because I think you know making improvements is something you probably do in your second year in the job. So I don't think it's fair to push those items right now. Other than that, I don't have any questions. Thank you, Stephen. I would say that um, <clears throat> thank you for doing the work of finding out which uh, TD Bank and Citizens Bank. You've you've done the work, so I don't have to. Right. Actually, Ellen so, did most of it to give well, her credit. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Ellen. Okay, and also with the uh, Provident Bank mm -hmm. because. The village district, we have our money across the street at the People's Bank okay. as the treasurer. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the a half a million dollars sitting in there, I just got the statement this past month, um, $29 in interest. <laughs> <laughs> it's pitiful. It's <laughs> awful. Okay. <laughs> pitiful. It's awful. Go ahead, Mike. I don't have any questions on this at all. <clears throat> First of all, this is a big job and a huge undertaking. And Anybody who's ever worked with numbers, everybody has their own right. little idiosyncrasies that we're seeing pop up. So as we go along, any criticisms on anything that might be on the line, let it be constructive, because I know that to a man, not everybody here has gone over every line of the budget <laughs> and give Christy a little bit of space. The other thing is that with Michael on board with us, that's a good thing. For those of you who were here through the last transition, where Michael came in cold, that was a difficult transition. And I'm glad that we have his experience 
behind you. It gives somebody for you to go ask the questions to as you build your own spot here. So I, I feel we're in good hands. Um, but first year is always tough. That being said, I have only one question, and it's a minor one. But is there something driving that postage number? I mean, I know I the would, rate went up, but it didn't go up 40%. My guess off the top of my head, I haven't done any research on it, but it would be the certified mail. <sighs> we do a lot of certified mail. Not my department, but all the postage for the town comes out of our budget. And there's a lot of certified mail that goes out. And I believe, I think that's up over $6 an hour. Real high fives for certified and I know nothing about whether that's required. I'm guessing that it's mostly to like a butters and stuff for different notices and things. So I don't know exactly what it's all for, but it's our certified mail, I think, things would be the real we driver. Things that were doing before. Possibly, no. I don't know. I mean, I, I just need an explanation for the bump okay. beyond the rate. Mm -hmm. Right. And I know <clears> that we weren't quite notifying all the butters in the past. I don't know. If I can't speak on that, but I do yeah. know that I see, because I do see the mail, and um, my department is responsible for doing the mail when Christina's not in, and there's a lot of certified mail that goes out. All right. And that will always stay with the expense in your department. It won't be dipped out. It's always... The only reason I suggest I say that, in, it, it's part of a bigger, a bigger picture, is that we do an awful lot of absorbing costs especially from some departments who I think could help ease, ease the burden a little bit um, if fees were readjusted or re-examined. So by having it all in your department, we have no way of knowing if perhaps planning or zoning or any of the, the other departments who are putting this burden on you, 40% increase, and that's not it. We're not talking about a small number here. It's, it's substantial. I know our postage meter does have um, the ability to track um, by department if it's set up. I don't think it's, I know it's not set up to right now, but I believe it does have that ability to track so whoever's putting the mail in would put in a certain code for like planning. Um, so that was something that at some point along the line it was brought up or considered. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, like I said, I just point that out because we're looking at. Eleven thousand dollars in this one line mm. as an increase, 40, almost a forty percent increase. And um, if we contain that a little bit with fees, it going forward. No, 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 just very quickly though, but that encompasses all the other all the other departments. Police, fire, public works, right. everyone except for every, library and cemetery. It's just that it's lumped into your. Yes. Your budget. Right. But we'll never know how to contain it if we don't know who's where it's coming where from. It's coming hey, that, from. That's it. It's accountability. If, if I know somebody else is paying my <coughs> I'm not inhibited at all at mailing. Mm. But if I have to speak to it in a line item in the budget, I where, might think twice. Where is, the, where is the meter, Christy? Is it in your office? Uh, no, it's um, in the conference room upstairs. Oh, okay. Oh, in the uh, little... little the James select, office to be? The no, it was, it moved into the conference room. It was in the <laughs> bubble, so to speak, but now it's over in the conference room, and that's where it will be staying. That's the only question I had. Thank you, Christy. Brian? Um, <clears throat> under equipment maintenance, I'm just a little confused because why we don't have postage, et cetera, put into postage. Because the those are in, under equipment maintenance are the contracts that we have. Um, our software service agreement is in there. The repairs and maintenance of equipment. So it's just contract. Yeah, those are all like the contracts. I think one of them might be for the copier. Maybe I would have to look and see. I don't think the copier has a contract, and I believe that the postage meter does. And then the software is the larger. Of that 13000 10000 is the estimated amount for the um, financial software uh, agreement for next year. Support agreement? Mm -hmm. And that's just for software? Uh, for our financial software, yep. And one thing that's mm -hmm. still bugging me that I probably will bother me throughout this whole thing is on... Um, the part-time wages for the 
records art uh, archive, archive court. court. I'm just trying to make sure that we're paying out of each department for this clerk because this person seems to be bouncing around from place to place to place and I'm not understanding exactly if she's doing records archiving if she's doing scanning her hours come out of this line if building borrows her for something or the tax collector I believe when Donna was in here she was talking about her $1,750 mm -hmm. that is the individual she's speaking of that she borrows when she goes over there and works for Donna we charge Donna's part-time uh, wage line for her when she's in there so we do keep fairly good track of her and when she's and for a while she was working um, with the town clerk and this was over a year ago I believe and we were charging the town clerk um, her part-time wage line so we do um, if she's not archiving records or scanning is what I refer to it as because she scans stuff if she's not doing that and she's doing a specific project or working during tax season we are I think we're fairly good about tracking that and charging the appropriate department. So you wouldn't see those wages in here. You know, you would see it over in that department. Could is there any way that we can get this? I mean, I mean, the eighteen thousand two hundred dollars. I think is. I mean, um, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not trying to make a big thing out of it, but I'm confused to, as to how much this person makes in. She makes very close to that because the times that I'm talking about when she's borrowed for other departments and stuff, it's a very rare occasion. You know, okay. um, the tax collector borrows her sometimes, and I think when Donna was here, she said she didn't even use her. I don't believe in like. Sorry, right, I didn't know if it was an exorbitant so, amount or no. some. It's a very you know, small certain hours during the course of a week no. and it's where not that nothing. money was coming from. No. If you could coordinate that position, I'm assuming that each department puts in a time slip. Yes. And it does this Each person, is this person going to be capped out at 28 hours going forward? Oh, she only works 20 if that. It's usually even I'm less I'm saying somebody that. must coordinate that. Otherwise, you might be using six, but if you have three other departments using six, yes. then it could be 24. Yep. Nobody's keeping track. So who does keep track of that? Um, the employees are very good, but they have to turn their timesheets in to someone. And she actually turns her timesheet in to me. To be signed, so I would be. And she knows not to go over it. Absolutely. And she, every morning when she comes in, she sends me an email and says she's here. And when she leaves, she sends me an email and says she's not here. So I actually do know okay. when she's here. So if she, I was seen like she was there a lot in one week, I that would be a red flag to me, you know, because I know what day she kind of works. I know when she comes and goes, you know. So if I'm not getting those emails at that normal times, it would raise a flag, and I'd be like, "Oh, what are you doing, Lori?" But she's they're very responsible. Okay. okay thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jerry? No, I, I've asked my questions. Okay, good. David? No questions. Michael? I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, when we were, <clears throat> we were talking about the postage, I had to run the math through here because I couldn't follow what everybody said. On the postage account, Mike? Yeah, on the postage uh -huh. line there, that uh, 011 6250 mm -hmm. The end of September, you have twenty three seven seven two. Mm -hmm. If you annualize that, you're assuming it's all the same all year long, that's thirty one six ninety two. I, when these questions came to me, mm -hmm. I went into the postage account and mm -hmm. did it exactly what it was on that day, and I believe it was through the end of October, and I annualized out. I didn't actually write the number down here, unfortunately, but I did annualize it out when I had this question come to me on Monday morning. So my guess is that. When the October financials come in, it'll be up by whatever number to get it annualized out to the thirty-seven nine sixty-nine. Okay, I just, I just, or six ninety-six. Sorry, I just did the math here, and it come out to thirty, a little less than thirty-two at that. What's in the book? Yeah, okay. and that's probably very accurate to what's in the book there. But Oops. I went in and uh, ran a GL account just on that account, and it was reading a higher number, so you annualized that. I annualized that number out to show what it was at. As of uh, the end of end October. Of October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so is, is October budgets up in our slots? No, they are not. Okay. I'm working on those. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll have them by Friday. It's my goal. I have one other question and I'll. I'm let, going to the board on Monday. I'll, I'll let that all slide. Uh, <laughs> anyway, one other question. When for, Before Fred, uh, the town manager Fred Welsh left uh, on, you know, on his uh, surgery thing, he indicated there was 950 some thousand that were sort of fixed in the budget. Does that click with you a little batch of numbers? He must have been given those numbers by you, I would assume. 
<laughs> nine hundred and something that was he, he mentioned in, in the selectmen's meeting that there was about that much money that was fixed in relation to the budget going into the 2015. That that so he was probably talking in regards to the wage lines and stuff. I didn't. I don't recall giving him a certain oh, okay. number. So he didn't put that together. Okay. I just thought maybe. Yeah. Not I was, that I recall. Not off the top of my head. That I was I can curious. If we could have that if you had it. If you don't, you didn't. That's fine. I'll look into it and see. I don't think that I did do that, but I can look and see. I think it was five hundred. Fixed cost. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. I want to say fifty some thousand okay. was more or less fixed when we go into looking at the twenty fifteen mm -hmm. budget, and he didn't elaborate on what okay. they were, and I was trying to figure out what those were, and I couldn't come up with that number. So, okay. if you can find it, that'd be great. Okay, thank you. If That's I provided I it to him, I will give you the backup of what I gave him. Okay, thank you. I'm all set. Thank you. No question. Christy, I think you do a great job. I think I speak for all the selectmen. You do a great job, and I trust your math implicitly. Uh, on the, uh, the, the, con the postage stuff, yeah. talk to your state rep. Because last year there were a couple of bills passed that increased the number of people you had to uh, notify, the number of abutters, and that it had to be certified, couldn't be electronic. Mm -hmm. And I believe there are a couple of bills put in this year that are going to increase the people that you have to, I, I think in a condo rather than the condo association, you're going to have to, each individual in the building. Hmm. So speak to you, if you want to cut down that uh, that postage, speak to your new state rep, get up there and cut out some of those uh, legislation that they're passing. And the numbers I think that you're talking about, Mike, well, when Fred was talking about the fixed costs, yeah, the right. pension, the, uh, the, uh, the the increase in pension, the increase in those things, that's what he was talking about. But I don't have the exact on that. So. And I don't know if I – I, I may have prepared it for him. I'm not going to say whether I did or not, but I will go look. I don't recall doing that. I, I just um, remember watching the meeting, and I thought, well, I'd be nice to know what those were. Okay. Thank you. I put a note on my front page there, so Thank I will look you. into that. Thank you, Kristen. You know, and based on what Jim just said, it would be helpful if I knew which departments were incurring that extra postage. Yep. So that would help. Mm -hmm. Certified. So we're ready to move. I hope. Yeah. All right. All set. Um, all those in favor? Like, could you repeat the final line again? Three six four one nine nine. All those in favor, hands up. Okay. Opposed? Okay. Michael. And abstentions. Right Jerry. And Lane Jones. Christy, thank you on that one. I think we can